That's very interesting if you think about it in the sense that almost like what you're saying is that it's better to design a world first and then if you already have an idea for a character, try to find a way to fit your character into that world or develop a character that works well into the world rather than trying to design a world that your character can go into. Um, so like you have the world first and then you can then you can choose from a plethora of different characters rather than limiting yourself to a world with the character that you've already developed. Yeah. Yeah, when it comes to, uh, a lot of times people ask me, do you develop story first or story world first? I'm a big advocate of developing story world first. It's not story world or story. It's story world first, then story. It's, it's like, uh, I, I, I liken it to uh, putting on your pants and putting on your shoes. Uh, you need them both. You need pants and shoes. You just put your pants on before you put your shoes on, right? I like that's, that's just the, that's the order. That's the best order. If you put your shoes on before you put your pants on, usually it's just a more difficult, you know, way to go. And so uh, if it, sometimes you have an idea of a character or have an idea of a story already, and then what you want to do is just extract that character and extract that story, set them on the shelf, and then go ahead and develop that story world, then put them back in. But if you can design an independently interesting story world that is beyond just a single character or beyond just a single story, then you know now that the IP potential is, is optimized because the, the commerciality is attached to the world itself. But Because if you do it the, 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 the opposite way, the commerciality and the high concept is gonna be attached to the, the character. And that, that, is, that makes it risky. Because if people don't like that character, or in film and television, if that actor doesn't want to do the sequel, or if you know things like that, like it, all of a sudden the 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 potential of your IP becomes very minimized, um, and uh, it's dangerous to build around those characters. So I'm a big advocate of story world first, then story that operates within that story world. I think that's where that's when you're going to maximize that transmedia cross-platform IP potential.